Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. I'm going to show you how to build this vintage Coca-Cola style bottle opener. It's easy to build, a lot of fun. If you've already watched the one on the steampunk bottle opener, then you can skip all the way up to about 10 minutes into the show and it goes right into showing you how to do the painting and the decals and the finish of that. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to start out with the basic design and I had some rough sketches that I had been working on so I'm going to translate those over to the final size. So using a straight edge and laying out the basic size I'm going to use a small drawing compass to uh, create those circle patterns and just kind of work this till the designs where I want it to be. And it's approximately 16 inches in length. Using some quarter inch MDF panels, I'm going to measure this out and cut the side pieces out. This will help me get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and build two of these bottle openers and one will be a different painted differently and that'll be for a different video. Using the bandsaw with a, a guide I'm going to go ahead and cut these slots or these slabs and then I'm going to lay them out and I'm going to place these together so using some double stick tape I'm going to set this down and stick the two panels or the three panels together. This uh, will help me to be able to just make one cut on the bandsaw and the drill press rather than having to cut them out individually. I'll go ahead and set these down together. And like I say, I'm cutting out four of these but if you're only building one you would only need to cut two of these out. Now I'm going to take my pattern that I cut out and I'm going to use some Elmer spray glue and I'll put a link in the description down below to all these products but I'm going to spray glue that down and apply that to the side of the, uh, the wood that I'm going to cut. I'm also going to use my drill press and I'm going to pre-drill out all the inside circle holes and I'm going to use forcer bits and uh, that really speeds up the process before having to come back and cut it all out with the bandsaw. This is something you're going to really want to take your time with to get a smooth clean cut. This MDF cuts really easy. I also picked up a two by two by half inch thick MDF. And there I'm gonna cut the pieces that fit the back. I picked up some, a couple of plastic tubs from the hardware store. You could use just about any kind of a tub to, for, for the bottle caps to fall into. So cutting that back piece and then I'm also going to cut a piece that will be the bottom of the shelf that holds the bottom caps. Removing the double stick tape I'm going to measure out where I want everything to be uh, located and I want to put a decorative base on it so I borrowed my wife's uh, one of her pans to uh, use as a template for the curve. I use that same uh, curve on the top and the bottom of the backs. And now using some standard wood glue, I'm going to uh, go ahead and glue the sides on. Apply your glue, don't be, uh, don't be shy with it because you're going to want to make sure you get good adherence. I'm going to just kind of smooth it out with my finger. And then also put some down on the side and the back that's going to 
support that bottom shelf that the uh, the bottle caps will fit into. Wipe off any excess. And then I'll do the same with this side. Once I have that kind of glued up, I'm going to go ahead and use some clamps and I'm going to put a clamp on the side to hold that into place until I can cut the front piece for this. And of course you'll want to glue that up as well. And I'm going to hold that down with a, another clamp as well. You can never have enough clamps in your shop. Now using the, uh, the bottle opener, the cast iron bottle opener as a template, I'm going to kind of draw a shape or a little bit of a curve to make another piece that will fit up at the top of the bottle opener. Sand that up a little bit, glue it, set that into place, and then I'm going to put a clamp on that as well. And I'm going to let that set up and dry overnight. Looks like it's all dried up and uh, put together well. I think we're going to be ready to uh, start putting some more of the decorative pieces on. I'm going to take and clean up the sides a little bit using the belt sander. You could do this with a block sander and hand sand it as well, but I save a little time and just use the belt sander to, to bring that down clean. I'm also going to use the disc part of the sander to smooth out the top and the bottom of this. Now using basic measurements, I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut some decorative wood to go around the front and the sides. So setting my uh, guide on the bandsaw, and always recommend you wear ear protection and eye protection. I'm going to go ahead and cut the strips that will go around the side of the bottle opener, along with a half inch strip for the front to give it a little more depth. Yeah, that's going to work. Get everything glued up and just set it up into place. And once again, I'm going to use some smaller clamps to help hold those into place while they dry. Finish this with the piece on the front. With that, because of how it's located, I'm just going to use a can of paint to help hold that in place until everything dries. This looks good. We'll give it a little bit of sanding, smooth it out, and make sure that that's ready to go. I'm going to use some 180 sandpaper and just kind of go over and make sure that all my seams 
are smooth and that you can't really see the uh, the seams at all they just smooth right in using some spray primer I'm gonna lay a coat of white primer on it And then come back up to that primer dried and just give it a real light sanding to knock off any overspray or any uh, dust or anything else that's on it. Now using some red spray paint you're gonna come and get your first coat on there. Now your first coat is to color it. Don't spray it too heavy. Try to not get runs on it. Just get your basic coating on all the sides of this. Once you've basically done that, you can let it sit for a little while and then once that starts to tack up, you can come back and lay heavier coats on it. Now that you've finished your coat, let it dry well because you're going to come back with a vibrating sander and you're going to rough that paint back up to put a dull surface on it and also knock off some of the paint on the very few edges just to give it a worn look. You don't have to go crazy, but you do want to show a few of them. What it does is it pulls some of that white primer back out and just gives it an antiqued out or a wear look. Once you've kind of achieved that, you come back with a lightly damp cloth and wipe off any of the dust or access from that. Now I'm going to take acrylic water base acrylic paint and I'm gonna mix up some bright red and I'm going to add a little bit of black acrylic to it mixing it up to kind of a brown color or almost a, a maroon color and using just some inexpensive artist brushes I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna spread it around the edging mainly to make sure this gets kind of tucked down in there. And as you can see, it's darker, but it's not extremely different from the color. And I brush this out on the paper because I'm going to dry brush as much of this as I can around the edging. Once I get some of that brushed on there, I'm going to take a clean cloth, fold it up to where I can start literally just kind of dabbing this onto the surface. What this does is it helps to blend that paint in and give it a kind of a smudged or a aged out look. Now I'm going to take and do this same technique all over the, the bottle opener. You can see how this is starting to give it a nice kind of aged out soft look and gives it a natural antiqued look to it. Flip this over, start doing the exact same thing on the inside. You don't have to go too far down into the, the cavity part because you know that you'll have that little bucket that you, you drop down in there and that will cover anything below that part. Doing the same thing, I'm going to take that rag and just keep daubing it and, and moving that around until I kind of get the, the finish that I'm looking for. Those sanded areas that look white are going to still come out in the paint. So I'm even going to get the top piece, get some of that. And I paint a section and then daub it rather than trying to paint everything at once. You're going to kind of go piecemeal on this. Same basic technique on the sides. You want to keep the paint fairly wet. You don't want to give it too much chance to start drying up or it's going to be more difficult to get off. I'm liking the way this is turning out. I 
I think this is gonna work just fine. You can see how I do it in kind of section by section. Now I did the entire bottle opener using one rag basically for all the daubing. It doesn't really get too much paint on there and even if a little paints on the rag it's not going to hurt anything because it, you're just moving the paint around. Now that I've got that done while I set that to dry I went on Google image and looked up some vintage or old antique coat designs. I'm going to cut this out directly so I'll go ahead and print this. You can size it up whatever you need. I just using an inkjet printer and regular paper. I printed my two designs that I wanted to use. Now I'm going to come back, take my time, and just cut these out. This one with the little, uh, I believe that's called like the Sprite Pixie or something like that. It was one of their old ad campaigns. I'm going to cut him completely out to sit toward the top. That'll work, but I think I'm going to angle him a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Once again, I'm going to use the Elmer spray glue and setting it on some scrap paper. I'm going to dust the back of it. Now be careful not to get too much of this because it will saturate through the print. So now I take that, align it the way I want, and just press it down on the dried bottle opener. You want to make sure that bottle opener has plenty of time to dry so everything adheres just, just fine. Now I'm going to do the same thing and cut out the Coke logo and see how the print I found has old aging and kind of antiquing to it. So I think that's going to work just fine to give it kind of that aged look. Make sure that's going to fit where I want. Fine. So set that aside and using the spray glue once again, I'm going to dust the back of it. You want to make sure you get enough on there to adhere well, but don't oversaturate it so that it bleeds through the face. You don't have a lot of ability to move that around, so try to get it exactly where you want it when you put it down the first time that's going to work. So now using the same brand of Croylon paint, I'm going to use the Croylon clear that matches this. And I'm going to lay a few coats directly on my printed image. And it's it's really neat because when you put those on there, it actually starts to really darken up and make those images look richer. So I'm going to put several coats of that on and let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to come and take one of those iron bottle openers. I'm going to spray it silver because it looks like most of the vintage Coke was always the red and the silver. Taking a few measurements to make sure I place this in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and line this up and drill a pilot hole in the bottom for installing and this also I'm going to use a bit that's got a countersink and then flipping it over I'm going to set the bottle opener into place mark where I want that and then once again drill these holes out as well now, they don't have to be countersunk because they'll have the uh, the bottle opener over the top of it. Okay, so now we're ready to install it and we've got it pretty well all ready to go. So all we're going to do is put it on a solid surface. Now I left one of these two screws left out because it'll go all the way through and secure into the, the surface behind it. So once you've lined up 
where you want that to go. I've pre-drilled that hole there, so I'm just going to Okay, so now that I've got that secured in there, I'm going to use one of these plastic buckets that I picked up, and that's going to be what holds your bottle lid, so it's easy to take out and dump on. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comments section down below. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that alert button so it always lets you know when there's a new video coming out, and I'll see you soon.